what's your favorite animal? Do you know what class it belongs in? I'm not talking about a class in school. I'm talking about what type of animal it is. For example, my favorite animal is a dog. And dogs are mammals. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the five main classes of animals. Dogs are just one example of mammals. Did you know that as humans, we're mammals too? Yeah. All mammals have a backbone, fur or hair, give birth to live babies, and drink milk from their mother. In addition to dogs and humans, other mammals include bears, monkeys, giraffes, tigers, mice, squirrels, seals, and even whales. Most mammals live on land, but many live in or near water, like otters, manatees, and dolphins. What's a mammal that you know? This next animal group includes lizards, crocodiles, snakes, turtles, and birds. I bet you didn't see that one coming. This is the reptile group, and many modern scientists include birds in the reptile class. You might not know this, but birds are actually the closest living relatives to dinosaurs, and dinosaurs were reptiles. Reptiles are known for having a backbone, scaly or feathered skin, and they lay eggs for babies to hatch. Most reptiles live on land, but some live in or near the water, like sea turtles and penguins. What's a reptile that you know? Let's move on to a special class where these animals can live in both water and on land. Amphibians. Amphibians include animals like frogs, toads, and salamanders. They have a backbone, smooth, wet skin, and they lay eggs in water for their babies to hatch. Amphibians also go through a process called metamorphosis, which is a rapid transformation that changes the structure of their body. Have you ever seen a tadpole grow up into a frog? It's really cool. This process allows amphibians to survive on land and in water. Speaking of water, our next animal class is fish. Fish have a backbone and scaly skin. They breathe through gills instead of lungs, and they lay eggs for babies to hatch in water. There are many different kinds of fish, and most of them have fins. Some live in fresh water, while others live in salt water. Unlike amphibians, fish can only survive in the water. What kinds of fish do you know? This last group is an interesting one, invertebrates. That's a fancy word for an animal without a backbone. Mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and fish all have a backbone or a spine, and they're called vertebrates. So when an animal doesn't have a backbone, we call them invertebrates. There are many different types of invertebrates, and some live on land and others live in water. Invertebrates include insects, spiders, crabs, snails, jellyfish, and even coral. What types of invertebrates have you seen before? Let's play a quick game. Which class do each of these animals belong in? Turtle, let cat, let toad, tuna, lobster, pigeon. Let's review. A turtle is a reptile. A cat is a mammal. A toad is an amphibian. A tuna is a type of fish. A lobster is an invertebrate. A pigeon is a type of bird, which is a reptile. Awesome job! Our world is full of so many amazing animals.